Live from Television Hill, this is WJZ News at Noon. Well, here we go again. Another blast of wintry weather is on our way. Hello again. I'm Tim Williams. And I'm Lynn Bowie. And welcome to all of you who are streaming us this noon. A winter weather advisory goes into effect at 9 o'clock tonight through tomorrow morning. Sure is. Outside right now, it is cloudy and cold. WJZ is live with team coverage. And we're carefully monitoring this storm that could bring several inches of snow our way to Maryland. Let's begin with meteorologist Meg McNamara with a closer look at what exactly is coming and when. You are tracking this very carefully. Carefully for us. Yes, yeah, so we've been looking at this, and it's really a Friday morning commute impact here. So it's really been uh, the morning commute that have bore the brunt of the impacts from these winter weather events, and tomorrow morning will be no exception. Here's that winter weather advisory that Lynn was talking about here. So this area of purple here for central Maryland goes into effect 9 o'clock tonight, stays in effect through 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. That gives us a very good idea of the timing of this. We'll break that down a little bit further, but there it is. There is the system. So some light snow out on the leading edge of it, but then there is plenty of moderate and heavy snow bands in there. This is how much we're going to get when all is said and done. So generally, it's that two to four range for most of the state. We are tracking, though, some isolated pockets that are going to pick up on more like four to six inches. So far, it looks like the best bet for that is going to be south of Baltimore towards D.C. and then the top half of the eastern shore. We're going to see the snow arriving. 8 to 10 o'clock tonight, this heaviest period where we could see snowfall rates of one inch an hour really overnight before it clears out tomorrow morning. I do want to send it outside though to Marty Bass, who's going to talk about what this will mean for you if you are trying to hit the road. Hello, Marty. Well, hello, Meg. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you? Ready for a three day weekend or a work at home day? Well, that's what we're going to be facing. As Meg just mentioned to you, this should be over, said, and done with, or if you want to put it this way, damage done to roads by sunrise. Go ahead and take a look at a graphic. Area wide, with the exception of a little pocket close to the ocean, we're going to have high impact problems on the roads. Now, it's cold enough, and the road surface is cold enough, this should be all snow, but once people try and drive on it, that starts getting a little bit slick unto itself down to 17 tomorrow night, and then up to 33 on Saturday, snows an insulator, that bottom level gets a little bit moist, and it turns to ice. So we're going to have some high-impact road situation all the way through tomorrow, and I think personally even into Saturday. We'll be monitoring this for you throughout the course of the day, obviously tonight and tomorrow, but here we go again. Let me throw it back inside. Thank you, Marty. And of course, be sure to stay with WJZ for more on this next round of snow. With the most experienced weather team in town, we will definitely bring you all the information that you need to prepare and stay safe. You can download the WJZ weather app, scan that QR code on your screen with your cell phone right now, or watch CBS in Baltimore anytime.